I counted all my toiletries and I wanted to share with you what the results are. Um, my name is Leah, this is Leah's Teddy World. Welcome or welcome back if you're either new here or not new. <laughs> and um, yeah, without further ado, let's head right in. I have my trusted notebook here, which says Lagom on the front. Cleansing Cream 2, Shampoo 3, including one with sulfate. I had three. But I finished, this one was almost empty, the one with sulfates. I finished it today, you can see my hair is wet. So now it's only two, I have to kind of write that down. I'll do it later. Um, but I was very surprised that I only had so few shampoos. I thought I had a ton. Same for conditioners, I have four. It's still more than I need. I think in the future I want to keep it down to one or two products each. I feel like it's practical to have one backup, but you don't have to have a ton. Hair masks and treatments two, which I think is an okay number as I just said. Co-wash one. I don't know if I like it as much as I expected to like it, but I want to use it up for now. Body wash slash body uh, slash like body gels. It's called body gel? Yeah. Slash. No shower gel <laughs> body washes slash shower gel slash body slimes or or sh is it shower slime shower jelly etc i have nine altogether that also comes as i don't know if this comes as a surprise but nine that is way too many <laughs> body butter and creams also nine also way too many Body lotions three. I feel like I it's also too many, seeing as I mostly reach for body butter instead of body lotion. So I should maybe have one. Then toothpaste and tooth tabs. I have two big ones, and then I have like three sample size ones. But altogether, I'm counting them as five. But one is almost empty, so it's pretty much four. Other hair products four. It's just like for curly hair, but I thought my hair, because my hair is naturally wavy, I thought I could get it to curl up or just like get the waves out more, but I don't know, it hasn't really worked for me. I don't know what they're called, but I have a ton of like moisturizing milk for hair or some stuff like that. Um, hand creams too, when it's almost empty. So I, you, if you have been following my channel, then you know that I recently bought a hand cream. Or actually, well, my husband gave me the money, but... Um, <laughs> um, I've been using that daily, so it's fine. I actually haven't used that today. Um, I was planning to use the other one up first, and then I stopped using it. Toothbrushes one. That came as a surprise, because I found out that all my... I had bamboo toothbrushes, because they're biodegradable. Guess what? They all became moldy, and I only have one that I've been using, so I have to buy a new toothbrush. Deodorant and body spray, four, but one is almost finished. I have two natural ones, Of one of them is almost finished, and I have two non-natural ones, but I use them for like sweaty days, <laughs> if the natural one is not enough, or just, yeah, because I don't know. <laughs> then a foot cream, I have one sample size and one full size, so altogether two. Massage bars, I have two, which I feel like is also too many because I never use them. Like my husband, like that, my husband doesn't like the feeling on his hands, so he can't give me a massage with them. And I just been using them as like body creams, but I feel like it's more practical to just use body butter. So I'm thinking of kicking them out, but I don't want to be wasteful, so I'm thinking of using them up. We will see. Body scrubs five, also a lot. Face mask one, good number. Face wash one. It's a good number, but I need to reach for it more. Face scrub one, I really love it. It's like from Lush, it's so good. Face cream one. Um, Hair oil, in brackets, mustard oil one. I also need to use that more. It can help with hair growth and apparently it can help make your hairs curly if you 
make a plate. Is this called plate? I think so. Soap, two. Yeah, that's fine. One is in use and one is in the... No, I have three. Oh. I, I discovered one that I've forgotten about. So, plus one. Then that makes the total number obviously higher. Don't look. Oh, you can't see. Um, I don't know. Hands up later. Oh, man. Okay, I used one shampoo wipe and I discovered one soap, so it's still the same. Um, Nail polish remover one, which is fine. I only need one and it's big. Makeup brush cleanser also only one. Good number. Then face, face cloths. I have two thick ones and two thin ones, altogether four. I have a sponge one, but I don't really reach for that. So I need, to, uh, but I want to kind of try it out again and see if I reach for it more. Body brushes, I have two. I don't know what you call these, like the ones that help you brush your back and stuff. I had two, but I gave one to my husband. He thought he we can use it on him. And then um, the other one, I'm giving to charity. I don't know if, is that the thing? Because I don't want it to be bad for the environment, but I feel like, I don't know if it's unhygienic, but I feel like they know their rules. They can kick it out if they don't want it. Is that gross? Let me know in the comments below. But be, be gentle, <laughs> be gentle constable. Please be kind. <laughs> um body brushes too i have a body gua sha one i thought it was for the face but it was for the body but now i'm thinking to keep it but i don't know if i'll reach for it enough i have a i think i have a week to the side before the return period ends facial roller one i also want to use it more but i recently used it i had spa socks and spa gloves, which basically work like this, that you put cream on your feet and your hands and then wear them like overnight so that the cream soaks in better due to the warmth. But the socks always come off in the night and the gloves, I feel like they soak up the cream rather than the cream getting absorbed by my hands. And it just hasn't worked for me as well as I wanted it to. I wanted it to work. That's why I've, I held, I've held on to them. But they just didn't really work. So I decluttered them too. Giving them to charity as well. So we have... That's... Don't tell. Don't listen. Spa socks and gloves. Um, then a product I don't remember the name of it's called sensica the the brand or the name for it but it basically makes your hair grow back less thick and less strong or less much or it's supposed to it hasn't really changed anything for me but maybe i should have used it longer and i have one of those then i have an epilator for the face also one I've stopped reaching for it since I have my since I have my shaver now. I don't know. I don't know if I should declutter it because it was expensive. Then shave shavers for face and body. I have two, but one of them has altogether five attachments. Um four extra ones and one is on the actual item. There's one that I always use, and then I have like four others. But it's pretty new, so I haven't decluttered them. <laughs> and then the one head massager. So the total dun, 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 was 78, but it's come down to 74 after decluttering the few items that I mentioned I decluttered. What do you guys think? Oh, it's a lot. It's so many things. I have way more than I need. Especially, obviously, body washes and body butters and creams. But I love creams, so it makes sense to have a few more than other items but maybe not that many maybe not nine yeah and body scrubs also and actually deodorant i don't need four either but anyway um that's my inventory i hope you like this video 
um let me know what you think in the comments below have you ever counted your items if you have let me know how many of what you own <laughs> maybe not uh, like um not every little one or one one this one this but maybe like how many toiletries how many clothes and stuff like that um and i would like to invite you to like this video if you liked it and also to subscribe to my channel if you like content like this decluttering content and um all things attempting to downsize and yeah um please tune back in next time i'd love to invite you to that as well i would love to have you back here next time um i was thinking to make videos every thursday but i feel like i don't want to wait every time i finish a video i just kind of want to upload it straight away so maybe every thursday and monday i don't know if i'm if i should make like a specific day for upload day as an upload day or if i should just upload whenever i make content because at the moment i've been doing it whenever i was inspired i just made content but then there were like these thirst periods where i didn't upload so now i'm thinking should i keep some videos for next week and stuff so that i can be more regular would be nice but I feel it's just easier to just upload whenever I have content. I'll figure it out. Um, again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!